And Steinmetz has been the chancellor at the U of A for about five and a half years. In a news release, Steinmetz says he's found it challenging to manage the university in today's, quote, polarized society. In Thursday's news release, Steinmetz says higher education has been his passion for the last 38 years, but he says it's time for him to step back from his responsibilities as chancellor. He says, quote, I still believe in the mission of higher education, yet given the many challenges found trying to manage a university in today's polarized society, I need to do what's best for my family, and I feel ready to make way for others. Here are just a few of the events that unfolded at the university in the last year. In June of 2020, students and alumni shared their experiences with racism on campus by using the hashtag Black at UARC. Back in April of 2021, the university reached a $20,000 settlement with a former U of A student who was found guilty of sexual misconduct in a Title IX case. That settlement sparked protests on campus and five demands about sexual assault prevention and response on campus that Steinmetz agreed to implement over the next few months. For more than a year, Steinmetz has been at the center of discussions to move the statue of Senator J. William Fulbright from its current location on the U of A's campus. And on June 8th, Steinmetz went before Arkansas lawmakers to discuss the Fulbright statue. I'm not suggesting we blow up Senator Fulbright's statue. In fact, I'm in suggesting we move it to a location where um, actually people can see it, people can it be contextualized by the entire history. So it's actually in, in a lot of ways for me a preservation of that, that cultural symbol. It's, it's not uh, blowing the statue up. Now, the university has not made an announcement about who will take Steinmetz's job, but it did say U of A system president Donald Bobbitt will consult with representatives on campus and in the community before announcing those plans. In the studio, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.